Kusum. I'm 13 years old. I'm from Jharkhand. I want to tell you how football changed my life. In my family, there are eight members. My father, my mother, my three elder sisters, one elder brother, one younger brother, and me. My father is a farmer, my mother is a housewife. My two elder sisters got married then, when they were 17 years old and 18 years old. My one elder sister studies in college. My elder brother drives car. My younger brother studies in school, and I study in standard six. Before I joined UA, I went to school, but not daily. I didn't think about my school much because I did not know that it's important. I would go to classes three or four times in a week. If I if someone asked me if I wanted to go spend one week or one month at the relative's house, I would say yes and leave my school for a long time. I had fun with my relatives, but I did not go to school. I didn't think about my school much because I did not know that it's important. I didn't think about my future. I was shy. I didn't talk to anyone. If I played in road or sand, I didn't wash my body because I didn't think it was important. If someone came to my house and asked me a question, I would not give them answer. I would not look at them. I would just walk away. No one in my village knew my name. Even my neighbors not know whose daughter I was. <laughs> I was so happy to join UA. When I first joined UA, there were few girls. But after some time, there were many girls. We ran around with ball and we had fun. I saw that other girls keep their bodies and their clothes clean. But mine were dirty. So I started to wash my body and wore clean clothes. I made many new friends. I started to go in your house every day. Franz and your teacher told me why education is important. I learned that if I could get an education, I could find different ways to make and save money and live better. With education, I could go different places and do something with my life. So I started to going to school every day. I studied well and worked hard. I stopped spending lots of time at my relatives. <laughs> Girls in my Eva team work hard. I feel stronger when we are together. If one girl is upset or has a problem, we make her feel better. If one girl is stopped to come in Yua, we t told her and tell her how much fun it is. If one girl is absent, we find her and tell her to come tomorrow. We support each other. Last spring, Yua had a chance to send a team to Spain. I was chosen to go because my teammate ranked me highly in leadership values of positivity, honesty, caring, selflessness, and unity. <laughs> to go to Spain, we needed a birth certificate to get passports. My friend and I did not have birth certificate because we born in our homes. Every day we went to Panchayat in a group, but Panchayat told us give him more money. <laughs> he said we were small and we will never win and that the foreigners would sell us in Spain. <laughs> he hit my friend and made us sweep the floor. We felt scared of him, but we went every day. I was sad during that time. 
I thought I won't get to go to Spain. The trip to Spain was the first time I had gone so far from home. It was first time that I played in big ground and turf. The other girls are very big and very good players. We lost our first match. But we wanted to win. So we work even harder. We felt confident and supported each other. We won third place bronze trophy and we felt so proud. In Spain, I saw that girls and boys were same. There was no differences. They did everything that boys do. They went everywhere that boys go, even at night. <laughs> I thought this was very good. I want to feel free like the boys. When we came back from Spain, everybody knew us. Everybody knew my name. Everyone says, girls in you are doing very good things. Now, if someone asks me a question, I give him or her answer right away. <laughs> I'm not shy. I'm going to Iwa house every day for study English. I love to speak in English. After school, I want to go to university and study social science. Someday I want to join an NGO that helps girls. There are still so many girls who do not go to school. They only work in the house and their parents get them married very young. I want to help this girl. Already I feel like I am helping. I heard my neighbor say that she wants her daughter to play football so she can be like me and move ahead in her life. This made me so happy. Thank you.